to wrap this all up. A couple of things to, to be aware of. Just, just as you're making this, we, we, had, we you know, went through some trial and error with this. Uh, number one, red lights, red LED lights will not work with this. They need to be like white or blue LED lights and they're pretty much invisible. And if you want to know if they're working, you can take out your cell phone. If you'll come around here, Jordan, I'll show them. If you turn on your cell phone and you put on your camera, um, see this? You can't see that light right there. Well, actually, you can because you have a camera. But um, you can. But but to to my eye, I can't I can't see that light. I promise, I can't see that light. But because you're looking at it through a camera, you can see it. And if you but if you hold your cell phone camera, if you don't have a video camera, you hold the cell phone camera up, and you can see the light. And then you know that your your infrared cam, uh, pen is working, or that whatever infrared device you're using is working. All right, let's go back to uh, the. PowerPoint here. Um, one of the things you want to do is if you look, if you notice my um, Wemo is off to an angle. And the reason why is if I, if I stand over here like this and try to do it, I'm blocking the line of sight and that Wemo is not going to see this infrared thing, so it's not going to work. I'm clicking it, it doesn't work. Well, there it goes. But uh, if I stand over here, then, then it has a line of sight and it can see this so I can click. Okay, so it's going to be important that you get your Wiimote off to the side. Now I've strapped it to a tripod, that's probably not the best thing, but it's, uh, the main thing is you have to keep it steady. If it moves, then the calibration is thrown off and it's going to screw up. Okay, um, but if it's steady, it needs to be pointed right at the screen and it's from an angle and you need to make sure there's nothing that's going to block it. Okay. Um, some people have talked about maybe hanging it if you have a, a projector from your ceiling, maybe taking some Velcro or something like that and, and strap it to the, uh, to the bottom of the uh, projector. Uh, I haven't done that so I'm not sure how well that will work, but the main thing is it's got to have a clear sight, clear vision all the way to the screen so it can see this light. Um, I've, I've gone from an angle, you could probably go from an even wider angle, but if you can get it kind of directly pointed at it, I think it will work, work the best. Now when connecting the Wiimote, uh, you might need to click the red um, calibration button under here, the connect button. There's a, whoops, oh, I just, just moved it. There's a connect button under, under there, and you may wind up needing to hit that more than once. If you have any questions as you're doing this, if you have any problems, you can email me at tshoal at oricountyschools.net. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and try to help you problem solve or troubleshoot any issues that you have. The key is, uh, the, the main thing that, that you should know is that you can have a smart board in your room. Uh, if you already have a Wiimote, then really it's just a matter of about 10, 15 bucks. If you don't, then you just go out and get a Wiimote, get one used, or you can get one used probably for 30, 35 bucks, or you get a new one for 40 bucks at Best Buy. And um, uh, it's pretty amazing that we can do that, that we can do that. So. Um, Anyway, I hope this is helpful, and I uh, wish you the best of luck, and I hope that this uh, helps some of you get a smart board who uh, either can't afford one or, or just haven't been able to get the, the funds together yet for one. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.